Big question. Does the condom protect us from all sexually transmitted infections? No, and research has proven that condoms are not 100% safe. And I don't believe that anything is man-made. It's a surety. No, no. You, just no. you just protect you from having unwanted pregnancy. Also, me see. Sometimes, to can reverse. Condoms can protect you from all sexual transmitted diseases. For example, like herpes and HPV, which it is virtually kind of undetectable. You can't protect from those because herp herpes is skin to skin and condoms doesn't cover your entire junk. The answer is no, it does not. One of the most common sexually transmitted infections that is known to man is the human papillomavirus, HPV for short. HPV is no respecter of individuals, infecting from the very young to the very old. Why is HPV so important to us all of a sudden? Because it's the most common virus which is found in cervical cancer. Cancers of the mouth, cancers of the anus, cancers of the throat. How does it occur? How does it cause this to happen? What happens once there's contact of the skin or anybody with this virus? It goes into the cells of the, the body converts the cells into its own little play field and turns over the mechanism by which the cell divides and thrives and survives. So, in a term they call it immortalization, like biblically, it lives forever and turns the cells into cancer cells. Because it's such an epidemic, what we have found is there has been a move now for immunization against this cancer. Why is it so difficult? There are about 400 different types of HPV viruses that exist to man. But what we found, they are what we call high grade and lower grade. The high grade viruses, they are immunizations which are made for them. They cover specific types that are not really important for the discussion today. The low grade ones are the ones that are less cancerous. Those are the ones that cause warts on your skin either on your soles and your hands or your feet and sometimes on your private parts. Why doesn't the condom work is the question that we ask. It's very simple. Anytime there is any skin to skin contact, the virus can jump from one human person to another human person and infect that cell. How do I protect myself from getting this virus? The true answer is we have to choose very wisely who our sexual partners are. And a very important thing that might be to go to your doctor, your health center, your specialist, and get a test done to find out if you are a carrier or your partner is a carrier. And therefore, you can then be educated as to what to expect if you were to get this disease. Or be immunized against the disease before an infection takes place.